get this night out. And let's develop the bishop, get ready for castling. You can see what they're attempting to do already, their focal point is here. So let's just castle. They're managing this square because the, if we blast through, take in, take in. So mindful of all those things and they're very defensive. They're preempting that the bishop is coming here at some point. Um, so to me, I'm hoping that that's lost them a little bit of um, tempo in developing their pieces. So we'll continue as is. I mean, if the bishop does take, then the rook has got an x-ray through to the queen. Doesn't do that. Let's just take the bishop off the board. Alright, so this pawn's got no protection on it. This bishop's looking to try and disturb the king area. But I don't feel too worried about that. I'm just going to develop our knight. Their king's a little bit airy at the moment, but we can't get there. They're trying to push forward, push, you know, to pressure our king area. And fingers crossed, I'm hoping their team really isn't working together. Like I said, they're pushing forward to our king area. Might be a loose type of idea. Small piece attacking higher piece. Let's see what's happening. Maybe they might have been better bringing the knights out here. This is kind of like lazy man's chess, what the player's playing at the minute. It's like, oh, let's just push a pawn. You know, we don't have to work our pieces together. We can beat this guy with pawns. The idea is good, you know, because they're attacking the king area. But I'm hoping... Eh, okay, so... Now, do we take with the knights? Do we take with the bishop? Do we even take with the pawn? I like the idea of taking with the knight, but even better with the bishop, because if it does drop, pawn can take, bishop can take. They're looking to really just bring the queen here. They're so lazy, yeah, that then they're going to have this battery here. So if we take with the knight, pushes down, we take... They obviously take. Let me show. Make sure I've got that right. <laughs> do do do. Knight there. Oh, pawn there. Yeah, that's the pawn. Pawn's gonna be on. Knight squeezes here. Queen comes here, and then they're attacking this area. Lazy chess. Lazy chess. Do we have to do anything at all? Just take it. So we've seen the picture. The idea is the squishing the king coming down here. So you have to be mindful. Yep. Yeah, so the following exactly what we're saying. Boom, boom, and then. Maybe the queen comes here rather than there. Either way, they're wanting to get this battery onto the... So I have to watch it. Yes, you know, I still may follow the process. Or I may just bring the bishop back. And it kind of circumvents that. I mean, then they can take. But then obviously it's not linking up the queen and the rook. So we'll be giving them a free pawn ish because if they do take our bishop can take their queen can come across so they'll have a two on one we can bring our queen up can we yes i'm just trying to get to the bottom of it because this is the opponent is using the answer to chess process they're using lazy man's version of it but 
it is effective. If you don't play it right, it is effective. So we take, that's the basic way, takes. We take, bishop still here. Queen's come, queen comes here, looking to challenge this square. We push. Let's do it. Let's keep it basic. We know we know what they're wanting to do. Let's keep it basic. He might even just push down and spoil it for themselves, which is good for us. No, okay, so take queen down or across. Yeah. Bring this up. Have we circumvented it? Ah, we have, because the knight is out. So what's the knight wanting to do? Let's hit the queen. Knight's probably going to, is mortar set to just take this bishop. So I'm, I'm hoping that that time spent just calculating that. Oh no, they're still going for it. Mortar set. <laughs> okay. Let's just move the king. Let's take. So it looks like they were going to continue no matter what, trying to put that pressure on the king. Save the pawn for a brief moment, attacking the queen. So if we weren't aware, well, we can just move again. Weren't aware, got a discover check on the queen if they forget themselves. <laughs> Um, yeah, if we weren't aware about what was going to happen with that particular type of opening, we would be struggling now, trying to find our feet. And let's just bring the queen into the game a bit. Looking to hit the queen here. Let's bring the rook up, attacking the queen with their lesser piece. We can look to double up now, put some pressure on the pawn. Yeah, so he's going back saving the pawn. Let's um, bring the rook across. So they've not castled at the minute. Knight's protecting this area here. Our knight is looking to come here, but it's... Yeah. Takes, pawn takes. It's got a bit of something. Need to give them something to think about, don't we? Right, I might be overcomplicating it now. Let me have a look. Simple is a simple does. Push, push. I'm sure it's it's the knight, isn't it? Knight, come back around again. Come around here. All right, yeah. Up. Out to come back in. I know it's long-winded. Could he just block it down? Uh, so he's going to get loads of pieces defending there. What's happening to his king area? Doo -doo -doo. Let's continue with the knight going round and round. So it looks like we're giving them something to think about, but it's nothing major at the minute. Get the knight here, put some pressure onto the pawn. He's obviously bringing the rook to be in the game. I'm just trying to look, yes, supporting. Does it change? So if we hit this here, that might be a better one, might it? If we hit the rook with a lesser piece, pawn takes, queen takes, queen takes, then there's an exchange of some sort. I'm going to go with that. In fact, the rook could take rather than the queen, but... Maybe just try and get the big guns off the board. Oh, 
Oh, what has happened here? If we need to go there, then this night takes us. Oh, man. I'm not going to get any luck today, then. Uh, pawn takes. Pawn takes, Rook goes, goes and attacks their queen. But well, I suppose his Rook's going to take the pawn. Rook's going to take the pawn, Rook takes. No, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they'll do that. Let's just bring the knight up here. It's got a dangerous square here, but can't do anything with that at the moment. You've got to remember this knight is protecting this pawn as well. I'm just thinking if they do take, then we can bring the rook up. It's coming with some support. That's just... I'm just chomping at the bit for that. Move the queen off of the line now. Um, maybe to here. Then the pawn takes. Then we take his rook. Oh, we could even just move it here, couldn't we? Rook takes, rook takes, pawn takes. Yeah, okay, let's give that a go. Sure, that's going to happen. Maybe that's going to happen. One of the two facing off their rook. Mm hmm. We'll have to see what they're going to do now. I've done my mini calculation. They've got many options. I'll, I'll hurt my brain if I'm over calculating. Pawn move. Doesn't like our knight being there. I want my knight here. Can it do something here then? Alright. So knight takes. You'd think knight would take. Pawn takes. It's on a higher piece. I'm, I'm going with the knight. Although, he does have rook coming here, putting a check on our king. I suppose we can go here. I think that's what they're planning, isn't it? If we take with our rook. If we take with our rook, then one of the rooks takes. Probably that one. We take. Then it comes down. I'm going to take with the rook. He'd have to take time doing that, so I think he will take. Yep, so he's going to take. And we take elevated pawn, but come in with the check here. Bring the rook up, like we said. And our pawn is still on their queen. So we take with the queen. Or the king. I think it's better taking with the king, isn't it? So that he's not coming with any bambi pamby checks on. Okay, little check here on the king. It probably could have been played better, I'm not too sure, but we do have a passed pawn, which means probably we're going to be exchanging the queens off at some point now. He's got double pawns here, but uh, what's the end game looking like for this? He's got that, that, that. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. So we could start moving the king up. He's, you know, but he puts a check on our king. Let's move it up. If he forgets himself and puts a check here, we can take. Time's running down, it's a two second increment. Take this pawn. They've started pushing down, trying to make these a force to be reckoned with. Oh, what do we have? 
No, we can't do that. Put another check on. No. Let's push. I've got one minute and 47, so we have to bullet it. But it is a two second increment. It's chomping up a bit. Let's just lock everything down then. So we've got two passes and one semi passed. So the best thing I think the opponent's going to be going for is some sort of repetition. Oh, and I could get his queen off the board. Get the queen off the board. Right, let's just push. Um, bum, bum, bum. See if we get behind the pawn, get to the side. Maybe attack this, get this opened a little bit. I'll come round and block the king. I think we'll come round and block the king. And let's shall we push. I go here, it can come here, but we can push up. So I'll probably expect going back. Uh, okay, so let's come across this way. It's going to come back again, isn't it? And then if we make it look like we're going for a draw, let's go here now. So that's good for us. Let's push this. So he's looking for a stalemate in that type of position, but he does have this space here to go to. So if we take, takes, then we get another passer. Take. So he could go here, let's take. He does have space with his king to move here, so it's not stalemate. Just move up now and get a queen. Make sure that he does have space, plenty of space. Let's just target the king and okay, if he wants to just peel pieces off, let's go. And the famous, oh, okay, not getting chance to go for the finish. 